In today's episode of The Swing Report, we are discussing the Wilson D9 forged irons. Thomas is here with me to do some testing, and we'll tell you everything that you need to know. And lastly, golfers, skip to the last chapter of the video for our final thoughts. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing at Minnetonka. New iron today to test, Wilson D9 Forged. It looks like maybe a game improvement iron, maybe a player's distance iron, uh, but you know the fact that you know D9 is already out and it's you know got some really good game improvement performance, now the D9 Forged. So imagine some better feel there, but also some kind of different player characteristics, I'm sure. Yeah, I think you can't even really compare it to the original D9 irons because those were, you know, pretty max game improvement irons. And this looks pretty sleek to look mm -hmm. down at. It's got a nice top thin line. Uh, it's shiny, very nice top thin line. It almost looks like a cavity back, but I think it's just going to give a little bit more distance than what you're expecting. Yeah, yeah, I think that's certainly with the look. And to me, you know, I think one of the things that jumped out at me is it looks a lot like the uh, JPX 921 fours from Mizuno. It's kind of got. It's in that player's distance category. You can tell by, like you mentioned, the top lines. It's, it's not thick like a game improvement, but it's not thin either. And it does have that cavity back design there. So um, that's the club that it reminds me of. And maybe we'll do a comparison in the future with the JPX 921 Forged. But we should get into some of the tech here. Um, and one of the unique things about Wilson Irons, the power holes down here, the asymmetric design. And what that does is it really helps with uh, the low face shots too. Um, and then of course, the ball speed across the face. And then it's specifically designed for a forged head. So the way that the forged club head is designed, a little more flexible, but it helps stabilize that club head um, to provide that performance all across. Yeah, they're also biased a little bit towards the heel of the club too, uh, just to help turn that, turn that club head over just a little mm -hmm. easier. Yeah, I know that's one of the common things that, again, a lot of golfers struggle with, especially maybe some players in this category would be that right miss, and you know that's certainly one of those pieces there. Uh, but overall, it's it's generated with you know a little bit of low weight, uh, but high performance is kind of what Wilson says. So D9 forged, I'm excited to see you test. Uh, and it looks like today we've got the True Temper Dynamic Gold 105 uh, Stiff Shaft S300 here. So uh, that's gonna be an interesting testing kind of uh, piece together here. Um, you know, what do you think we're going to see out of the testing here before we get started? Well, so the loft is 30 and a half degrees loft, so it kind of fits in, like you said, JPX Forge fits into say P790 mm -hmm. along along those lines. So probably some explosive distance. Now the forged, you know, that's going to be the intriguing piece because you know who doesn't love the feel of a forged right. club off the club face? So I'm going to be intrigued to see if it's given an explosive distance, but also feels extremely good as well. For sure. Well, uh, you want to get started here? Let's hit some shots. So Thomas, you've got the D9 Forge in your hand. How about you, you know, take a look at it at a dress now, and what do you see? And then maybe try to kind of it, does it really fall into that player's distance category? It's it's hard to say it falls into this category based on looks because I'm looking down at it and I'm not really seeing that much offset. And the okay. distance distance players are in category. I'm used to seeing just a little bit more offset. So I think. Wilson's done a great job. They're talking about the top line being a little bit, little bit thinner, and also not seeing much offset there as well. But the loft and knowing the design, you know, designed for some more explosive ball speed, and the loft at 30 and a half, yeah. it it does fit into that category. It just looks a little bit different. Interesting. I mean, there's a few irons out there where the maybe looks don't quite match up with the performance tendencies of it, because. Uh, it's interesting. I, I, you look at it, I think you see that it's kind of a larger cavity in the back and you think, okay, maybe game improvement. Yep. Then you see, you talk about the top line being thin, the sole being a little bit thinner, and you think, wow, that kind of could be more of even a player's cavity. So right. it's kind of in the middle there. Players this, it seems to be a, a kind of where it fits in, but there's characteristics of both spectrums there. Yeah, it's important to you know, talk about it. it. looks It looks like a player's cavity back from, from, from the top, but as you mentioned, it does have some help. Back mm -hmm, there for well. sure. And it's left the face just a touch open on mm -hmm. that first swing. That's, just, that's still I mean, some pretty impressive distance. High, high ball speed. Yeah. Uh, one, 132 for the ball speed. That oh, yeah, one that wasn't was, right. That was hit well. Yeah. Yeah, that was... It's, it's weird. It, it seems like it's going pretty high and high yeah, enough. It doesn't feel as explosive as the numbers are showing. 
Okay. As, 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 and that could be part player. of it yeah. being, you know, the Forge. It's not that, like, hollow body player resistance that you, you know, like the P790s, the hollow body one, for example. Yeah. Uh, it's that more, I mean, it's that forged head with, it's more of a cabbie back instead. Yeah. Um, so that's interesting that you say that because normally you think player resistance iron, I think you get that thought in your mind of that, like, loud kind of abrasive sound, but also the, you know, that powerful uh, feel. And right. you don't really have that here. It's and then I can hear it sound wise too. It's a lot softer than you'd think. It's it's soft and muted. Um, it's definitely not as loud as other hollow body distance yeah. oh, players yeah. irons that I've tested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it feels good off the face. I think this is going to fit a wide range of players, like in a in a different way than we we usually we say that term a lot that a club can fit a wide range of players. But I think this is a almost a different way that I could see the benefits of this club working for almost any any handicap. I mean, yeah. you could see a, a almost near scratch player playing this, liking the feel, liking the sound, and getting enough workability out of it. Uh, but then you could also see the, the forgiveness and the performance added by the power holes of like a, a 20, 25 handicap and seeing that work for them too. Yeah, and then looking down at it too, it's from heel to toe, it's it's pretty sleek for this category. There mm -hmm. are other models that are just a little bit little bit larger, and yeah, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else out there that is smaller in in this category. I, I think really I mean there's maybe one that's like uh, P770. Is that maybe? Well, I mean, that's it's still not like that's... not even. I'd say maybe T200 would probably be. Oh, T200 is would pretty be compact. Probably yeah, just a touch smaller, but otherwise, because like P790 would be in this category. Yeah, but that's, that's definitely larger. larger. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I didn't quite catch that one as well. Yeah, I see that ball speed dropped. Yeah. Still pretty good. I mean, still 110 feet in the air. So the Lost a couple The spin yards. didn't seem to fluctuate much there. Right. It's a little lower, but it's nothing, you know, sometimes when you get that kind of drop kicky type of shot, it goes way down in spin. Yeah. And this one stayed pretty consistent there. Yeah, I mean, still 9.9 .9 yards of, of stopping power, so yeah, still pretty good. With a better swing. Back to the normal bull speed, about 131. Yeah. Oh. Stop within eight yards. Now that baby draw is showing up, but, you know. I mean, sometimes that face is, you know, a couple of times, I think one or two times maybe, the face has been a little too open. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, that little draw is right there every time. Yeah, it's, it's, t it's a tiny amount. It's not like it's right. overdrawing or anything like that. It just yeah. is flying pretty straight. I think hard, it'd be hard to see eight feet of curve out, outside. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's some more of that curve. Started a little bit left of some of the other ones, but. Yep, turn that one over just a little bit more. Yeah, I, I'm still, every time I hit it, I'm, I'm expecting a, a firmer feel. Because you're, you're probably, you feel that impact, you're like, oh, that's probably, you know, you're probably thinking about like 190 total, you know, just because of the feel of another player's iron that is, you know, one of those kind of weaker lofted version, smaller club head, and that's what it feels like. So you're probably thinking, oh, you know, 185 carry, 190 total or something. And then yep. you see the numbers here and it's, you know, explosive because it, it's that player assistance iron. Yeah, I mean, the, the good shots I've hit have been just shy of almost 200 carry. I haven't got there yet. Uh, so I think it's mm -hmm. not quite as explosive as a couple others yeah. in this category. Because I know that when I've done other testing, I've been able to get that carry just mm -hmm. over 200 yards. But it's very close. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good. It's not always all about carry distance right, anyway. Right. It's about no, yeah. consistency is what yeah. you're looking for. Mm -hmm. yeah, felt good. Nice, high, straight. I don't know if I can really hit it better than that last one. Yeah, that's, that's I was going to say, that is a very good ball. Um, let's see what the numbers show here after. Let's see what we've got. Seven shots. Uh, we can show the dispersion here too. Uh, that's pretty consistent. That's kind of what the, the pattern you expect usually, right? Where you know you, if you miss left, it's probably because you pull it, and maybe deloft a little bit, uh, have a little bit more curve on it, and then if you miss right, that face might be a little bit open and have a little bit more height and, and loft to it at, yep. at impact. But overall, what do you, I mean, break this down for me. We'll, we'll hit we'll hit a lucky seven shots today with this club and, and see what it tells us here. So. I mean, got? spin right around about 5,000. I mean, stopping power right at, it's, it's under 10 yards. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. So um, it's going far, but also I'm still got the stopping power with the height I'm getting out of it, 114 feet in the air. 
landing angle 49. So it's it's pretty good. Yeah. It, uh, the numbers are, are, are great. So like I mentioned, it's probably not going to be your your most explosive club in this category, but I think it's going to feel if you're looking yeah. for a feel, it's probably going to feel one of the best in yeah. this category. And I did want to note on a couple of things. So this fourth shot was that one that you kind of didn't quite catch perfectly, right? So you had smash dip. Yep. Um, I did want to point out the spin though, because it's not the lowest spinning shot that you hit. You had actually, you had two shots with 46, 97 RPM and then another one at 46, 96 RPM. And then you had this one at 44, 79, which probably, you know, you turned over a little bit more, yep. but so it's, I think it's, it's, uh, you know, encouraging to see that spin, it dip, dipped a little bit right, a little bit below average. But when you had that drop kick a little maybe off the toe, you see that sometimes with irons where it goes way down. Didn't see that very much here. So you see very consistent spin. Consistent there, yeah. Very consistent carry and total distance for hitting the ball 200 yards. So I think there's a lot of things to be encouraged by here. Yeah, the ones that go just a little bit further to the left, that's use the error with me just pulling it a yeah. little bit. The ones a little bit to the right, it's use the error with me leaving the face just a little, little mm -hmm. bit open. But we'll notice from plus or minus 3.6 yards on the carry distance when you're hitting it 195 yards yeah. at carry distance. Very good. Yeah, you'll take yeah. that. You'll take that. Uh, and then, you know, the height was pretty consistent throughout. Everything is pretty consistent about this club. So really good testing here, I think, from the D9 forged iron. All right, so Thomas testing complete. Wilson D9 forged iron. Uh, I think we were both really impressed by, well, sound uh, having not hit the shots and then feel having hit the shots. Uh, but then performance-wise, we got the numbers up. What did you take away from that? And then we'll kind of get into you know, who the club is for. Yeah, the one thing I really noticed was curve. When I was hitting these shots, you know, the furthest curve I had to the left was 34 feet. Furthest to the right was like 18 feet. Mm -hmm. It's really not that much curve considering I was hitting it, you know, close to 200 yards. And um, it just felt like it was flying pretty straight overall. On average, my average curve was nine feet to the left. Yeah. And you talked about me liking hitting a slight little baby drawer. That is a slight I, baby it's draw. A, it's a slight baby drawer on average. And, yeah. you know, it, was, it was high, but it was also flying pretty straight mm -hmm. overall. And that's one thing that stood out to me. Right, and so you know, I think that's, the, there's, that's why it's such a, a different club because it benefits so many players. Like a lot of maybe mid to high handicap players, uh, at least in terms of their ball striking ability, would, would like that high straight ball flight that you generated. But then there's a lot of those kind of maybe lower, uh, you know, maybe single digit uh, handicap players that prefer and are used to that smaller compact shape and that forge feel. So um, in your estimation, is there really a, a target golfer or golfers? Or, I mean, I feel like it's a, it's a wide range of players. It's a wide range. I think the, the, the forge feel, I'm gonna say it here, it almost feels like a blade cavity back yeah. off the face. I think mean, a lot of golfers, they, they like that, that feel, but also that little added extra bit of bonus of carry distance mm -hmm. and distance and, and straightness. And also the look with regards to, you know, not much offset, a thin top line. It's, it's sneaky good. And yeah. I, I'll, I'll be, be, you know, we wouldn't be surprised if this, this club is one of the, the top rated clubs here in, in 2022, just by having all these little extra little pieces in yeah. and you just get a little more distance and it looks and feels good. Yeah, I mean, there's there are like a lot of times a manufacturer will release a club that says, you know, like a player's distance iron. It's like, oh, this is a, in a small player's package, right? Yep. I think that's what Wilson has actually done with this iron. So uh, really impressive with the D9 forged. And I think we had some really good testing with it today. Uh, it's going to be a home run, I think, in 2022 for these fittings. Yeah, it's going to be for a wide range of golfers. It's going to be depending on the golfer's goals and what they're trying to mm -hmm. achieve. But definitely pretty explosive and feels amazing. Yeah, well, golfers, you know where to go for your Wilson D9 Forged Iron Set, Second Swing Golf, secondswing.com. Schedule a fitting with one of our award-winning master fitters such as Thomas here, and we'll get you set up with a set of D9 Forged Irons that is right for your game. Thomas, thanks for joining today, providing the insight. And golfers, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. We've got a bunch more product reviews coming your way and already on the channel. Make sure you check those out. We'll see you next time.